I'm Lindsay Baumgren of Nourish, Move, Love, and this is your 30-minute arms and abs workout. We're going to do it in a fun drop set format. I'll talk more about that, but basically, we're dropping off reps as we move along, and this workout is brought to you in partnership with my friends at the Minnesota Pork Council. For my lean protein lovers out there, this one's for you because pork is an awesome source of lean protein to refuel after a workout. We're going to talk more about ways you can refuel with some pork recipes. Recipes. We'll link out to some pork recipes, all associated in the blog post with this video. So be sure to scroll down and check that out. But let's talk about today's workout. It is all about the arms and the abs, and it is strength focused, you guys. 30 minutes of strength training. You've been asking for some heavier strength workouts, and this is your chance. I have a variety of dumbbells here, scaling from 12 pounds up to 25, 30 pounds. Okay, so I'm going heavy today. We're gonna do some unilateral movements, which means a one arm movement. Really gonna engage the core as we work. You have five circuits. We're gonna go back, chest, shoulders, biceps, triceps. We're gonna hit the whole upper body and throw in abs as we go. There's three to two to three moves per arm group. We're gonna break it all down. I'll take you through it, but first let's get ourselves warmed up with just our body weight. So let's start this workout. Go ahead, take your feet shoulder width distance apart and you're just gonna flap your wings for me. Right here, just flap it out, there you go. Open up those arms, upper body work, it's gonna be a lot of fun. Nice, from here we're gonna focus unilaterally, so we'll go single arm, take your right arm, take it, go, thumb down, thumb up. Give me some figure eight sweeps here, chest, shoulders, keep that core nice and stable. Nice, just go thumb down, thumb up, it's a figure eight, it's good for the chest, good for the shoulders. Get some lotion on those muscle groups because we're gonna work them with strength training today. Nice, give me two more. Awesome job, last one from here. Both arms go up and just alternate the pedals to the front for four, three, take it back in two, one, take it back, alternate the sweeps to the back and then we're gonna isolate the left arm in four, three, two, one, left arm, thumb down, thumb up, give me those figure eights. Nice soft bend in the knees, nice tight core. I want you to think every time you exhale today, big audible exhale, that helps push the weights overhead. As I exhale, I pull my hip bones together, chance to work my abs throughout the entire workout. Two more right here, down, up, last one, down, up, nice. Now we're gonna take those arm flaps we did to a hinged over position. So we'll go to a bent over back row or fly. My glutes are activated, my hamstrings are activated, my belly is pulled in and I flap my arms right here. Nice, right here, keeping tension on the glutes. Nice, keep that core nice and tight, flap it out for four. Yes, three, two, and one from here, you're gonna hinge forward, take a nice forward fold, I'm gonna go to the back of my mat, and you're gonna walk out to a nice high plank position. Nice, once you get here, you're gonna open up to a T. We'll do the other side. And then you're gonna walk right back in, find that high plank, stand up tall. Nice, do it again, hinge forward, walk out, find that high plank. From here, open to T. Other side, open to T. Nice, walk it in, you got one more just like that. Warming up the shoulders and the core. Yep, yep, yep. Here we go, open it up to T. Yes, other side, give me the T. Nice, from here, you're gonna do two push-ups, knees or toes, all the way down, all the way up, all the way down, all the way up. Push back down, dog, that feels good. Press your chest towards your thighs. From here, you're gonna drop down to your knees, keep your butt up, walk your hands away, thumb goes up. Puppy dog stretch. We're gonna do this puppy dog stretch because this lateral flexion right here, stretching right here, that affects the range of motion anytime I go to an overhead motion. So if I go overhead shoulder press, overhead tricep extension, I need good lateral flexion, good long lats. Okay, if you're having trouble with your range of motion overhead or you feel some impingement, this is a really good stretch for you. Thumbs up, walk your hands away from the body, hips stay high. Hold for three, two, one, walk it back in, nice. Find that down dog and walk your hands towards your feet. Roll all the way up to the top. Give me two big shoulder rolls at the top, one. Two, we're gonna jack it out, just jack it out. Nice, right here, option, tap it. Tap it or jack it. Nice, arms should be getting nice and warm. We're gonna jump into this workout in eight, seven, six, you got it. Five, four, three, two, one. All right, you guys ready to rock and roll? We are jumping in. Your first circuit is all about that back. Largest muscle group in the upper body, so we are gonna hit it right away. You have three moves, an alternating back fly, single arm row right, single arm row left. I'm gonna grab my 15 pounds. I'm gonna show you. First move, ooh, 15 pounds is aggressive. I'm already like, should I do that? 
Okay, hinge over, belly's nice and tight. It's an alternating back fly. So I fly right and left, okay? I have 14 reps. Each one counts as one rep. Okay, we're gonna count the reps. Alternating back fly. If now, if you have lighter dumbbells, if you're like, I only have eights at home, I have fives at home, you're gonna give me a double arm back fly. Both arms fly at the same time, the entire time. I'm going alternating so I can go heavy, okay? Your 14 reps starts in three, two, let's go on the right, that's one, nice. Two, soft bend in elbows, three, core is tight. Remember, every exhale, chance to work the abs. Yep, just getting right up to shoulder height. Ooh, these 15 pounds, they are feeling heavy. And I want you guys to go heavy. You guys have been asking for more heavy strength workouts. This is one of them. Arms and abs, all about the strength. You go heavy, you got four more reps for me. Let's go, give me four. Come on, three, you got it. Two and one. Again, if that was too easy, give me the double arm the whole time. Switch it out, I'm going to my heavy, heavy dumbbell in my right hand. Single arm, I'm gonna take a staggered stance. Single arm row, I can support myself on my elbow here, my hand, hand out to the side for balance. Core is turned on, 14 rows right here. Row for one, two, elbow high to the sky, back towards the hip. Hold at the top for a second, nice. Focusing on the back. If you feel this in your lower back, back off, grab a lighter dumbbell. Make sure you're bracing your core. Take this nice staggered stance for me. It's gonna even out the weight for you, nice. You got four, here we go. Three, stay with it, two, and one, you're gonna switch arms. Give me a little bounce out in between, a little shake out, yep. Okay, let's go, switch it out, other arm. Take that staggered stance, other side, 14 reps. On the left, you're on in three, two, here we go, 14 reps, elbow high to the sky. Core stays tight, that audible exhale. Okay, you can even give me a ch. That helps, ch, you got heavy weights. Heavier the weight, louder the exhale. That's a thing, for real, you guys. Heavier the weight, louder the exhale. I know you see like, well, you probably don't now because you're not going to the gym, but if you're working at home, you hear about big beefy guys who are like, ah! Okay, that's a little aggressive, but seriously, the heavier weight. One more, all right, talking too much. Shake it out. Okay, we repeat it. Same thing again. Alternating back fly, you get three sets. This time we drop down and you are doing 12 reps. 12 reps, alternating back fly, okay? Hinge it over, belly's tight. Double arm if you have lighter weights. Alternating arm if you got the heavy weights like me. 12 reps, you're on in three. Two, let's go, right here. That's one. Two, nice. Three, we drop the reps by two every time. Try to stay with the same weight. So I'm staying with my 15 pounds. I've already done one set, this is set number two, it's getting harder, right? Harder, stronger, you're strong, come on. Two more, one more each side, let's go. That's one and Two, drop those dumbbells, nice, shake it out. A little bounce out, shake the arms out. Nice way to keep the heart rate high, you can give me a little bounce. Single arm rows on the right, grab that heavy dumbbell, one heavy dumbbell, right arm, staggered stance, belly turned on right here, you got 12 of them. You're on in three, two, let's do it. Nice work. So I got power blocks here, it's my heavy dumbbell. Dumbbells are a hot commodity these days, you know that. <laughs> if you're in the business of dumbbells, right? Dumbbells, kettlebells, they're all really COVID made the prices go up. So I'm using my husband's power blocks. Two more right here. One and two. Set the dumbbell down. Quick shake up for the arms. I like these power blocks because they're adjustable, five to 50 pounds. So it gives me the option to go heavy at home. But I like a dumbbell better, I'm not gonna lie. These are a little bulky, but they're great for single arm rows. Other side, three, two, let's go. Come on, you got 12 of them. Yep, there it is. Come on, stay with me. Four, yes. Big exhale, put that other arm out for balance. A lot of unilateral movements. That means we're focusing on one side of the body. Why? Because it engages my abs the entire time. Two more. Ha. Last one, last one, shake it out. All right, it's back, back, back. Back to back to back, three times. Three sets through, close out the back. We go to abs after this, okay? We go to abs. Last time on the alternating fly or double arm back fly, 10 reps, 10 reps. You ready? Hinge it over, pull that belly tight. You're on in three, two, let's go. Yep, there it is. Ah, come on, finish it. Finish off the back. Last time you gotta do these flies. 14 reps, then 12 reps, then 10 reps. Oh yeah, baby, come on, two more. One more each way, one and two. Shake it out, shake it out, shake it out. Weights are down, flap the arms, single arm rows for the final time. If you don't feel burnt out, this is where I would challenge you. Do you have a heavier dumbbell or double up your dumbbells for the single arm row? 10 reps in three, 
two, let's go. Come on. Yep, let's do it. Ah, hold at the top. Focusing on that back. Big, strong back muscle. Largest muscle group in the upper body. Come on, let's go, two more. One and two. Nice work, shake it out. Last time, single arm rows, other side. Close out back and you're on to abs. We've got an ab circuit for you. Abs are 30 seconds per move. All right, last time, single arm row. You got 10 of them. Here we go, you're on in three, two, let's go. You'll see I have my other hand on my abs. This is something I've started to do, especially postpartum. I really like to feel myself, like to feel the muscles working. This really helps me turn on my abs, activate them, okay? Let's go, two more right here. Up and up, weights are down. Nice work. Shake it out, setting that heavy dumbbell off to the side, and we are going abs. 30 seconds per move. First move, it is a mermaid. I'm gonna stay here on my forearm. If I have the capacity, I'm gonna lift both legs up and down. 30 seconds, I'll show you options. You're on in three, two, let's go, I'm staying here. Crunches, sitting back on my hip, obliques, that's my focus. You're like, that's too hard? You do one leg, one leg crunch, right here, okay? Want more options? Bend the knees, it's a good option. Great place to start. I'm going both legs, 30 seconds, let's go, come on. What would it look like if I said 10 more seconds and then you're flipping right up and over to the other side, right up and over to the other side. Yes, in five, four, three, two, one. Over to the other hip, set it up, same thing, let's go. Choose your option, choose what works for you. I'm on my forearm here. Mermaid, yes, Woo, right here. Got my tail, trying to keep those legs long if I can. Option is always to bend. Focusing on the obliques right here. The obliques. Ah, there we go, get them up. You can always do one leg at a time, you can always bend the legs. 10 seconds, let's go. 10 seconds, yes you can. Then you're holding a low plank, hold a low plank. You're there in three, two, one. Up and over, forearm plank, hold here. Move number three, and then we're gonna repeat it, that's it. Move number three, option A, stay here. Option B, stay on the obliques, hip dips. Drop the hip, drop the hip, drop the hip. Slow and steady, not a speed game. You can always just hold low plank, that's a really good option. You can always hold low plank from your knees. If you're newly postpartum or pregnant, we have seven safe ab exercises on the blog for you. We'll include that in this post as well. Come on, last four. Three, two, one. Right back to obliques, other side. 30 seconds, starts in three, two, let's go. We're flying through these. Two sets on the abs. So you do the arms, you close it out, and then you give me two sets of abs. Yep. Ah, come on. Oh, I feel it. It burns, baby. Big exhale. Get those legs up. Stay with me. Five, four, three, two, one more. Other side. Up and over, right into it. Other side. Hello, obliques. This back to back. <laughs> That's what makes this workout hard, right? Holy bananas. Those obliques are on fire. If yours aren't, I don't know, you must be a strong woman. I'm fighting to get those legs up. Fight for it. 10 seconds in the fight. That's what you got left. 10 seconds in the fight. Low plank. In five, four, three, two, one. Woo. Had to fight to make that one happen. Low plank. I gotta get my sweat towel because my forearms are just slippery, slimy. Hold that low plank. Option A, hold it. Woo. My mat's slippery too. Option B, hip dips. Hit those obliques, finish them off. Finish off the obliques right here. Drop the hips, side to side, holding your low plank. Yes, you can, last 30 seconds. And then you get to stretch it out and take a quick break. Ooh, we're done with back, and we're done with our first set of abs. In five, four, three, two, one. Push back, child's pose. Oh, open up the knees. Sit the hips back, stretch the arms. That feels good, right? Nice work. What makes this hard is that repetition back to back to back, right? Grab some water. Okay, you're done with back. Circuit two is chest. I'm gonna take this big 25 pound, 30 pound dumbbell, go into my back. Single arm, chest press. Okay, let's start dumbbell in left hand. You can start either way, it doesn't matter, you're gonna do both sides. Dumbbell in left hand, single arm chest press. Okay, so it's up and down, I have 14 of them. I'm gonna show you a modification or a variation. You can hold the single leg glute bridge if you wanna make it harder. Okay, you're on in three, two, one, 14, right here. Big exhale at the top, inhale down, exhale up. Okay, up, this single leg glute bridge, holding that counterbalance, you guys. 
We're doing one side of the body at a time, unilateral. So I want you to go as heavy as you can on that chest press. Now, if you have a bench or a stability ball at home, you're gonna get more range of motion. Give that a try. I'm on the floor, you got the final four. Let's go, four, three, and two, and one. I'm not gonna lie, holy bananas, my glutes and my chest are on fire. Switch it over, other side. Hold that single arm chest or bridge if you can, 14, let's go. So I'm trying to think, keep this dumbbell in line with my nipple. If I'm on the ground, I'm just gently letting the back of my arm graze the mat and then going right back up. Never letting it rest, okay? Never letting it rest. I wanna keep constant tension on my pecs, that's my chest muscles. Again, if I have a, a stability ball, I'm gonna get more range of motion. If I have a bench, I'll get more range of motion. You got four more reps here, let's go. Finish four, come on, three, and two, and one, you're down. Nice work, oh, that's heavy. All right, we're gonna grab some heavy dumbbells. 14 reps, standing chest fly. Palms are out, bringing my pinky to my outside arm, going heavy. 14 of them, each one, each side, counts as one rep. Here on in three, two, let's go. One, two, you got 14 total. Think pinky to outside shoulder, pinky to the opposite shoulder. Chest and shoulders right here. Core is stabilizing, 15 pounds, going heavy. Woo, core is turned on and activated. Exhales are getting it up. A lot of chest, four more right here. It's that repetition. Three chest exercises, compounded on top of each other. One more each way, let's go. And out, nice. Quick shake out. Give me that shake out, that little jog. Woo, all right you guys, do it again. Chest, chest, chest. Option to add that single leg glute bridge. Drop the reps to 12, from 14 to 12, okay? Dumbbell in the left hand, right leg is up, 12 reps in three, two, let's go, push, right here, nice. Some basic upper body moves with the option to add a fancy variation, okay? Your option, keep both feet on the ground. This is just a variation if you want it, you don't have to take it, okay? Just gonna give you a little bit more core work, a little bit more ab work, more stabilizing work for the chest, come on. Ah, let's go, two more, two more, come on, right here, finish, one, and two, Whew. shake and shake and switch it out the other side. If you're not shaking in those final two to three reps, you gotta grab a heavier dumbbell. 12, let's go. Whew. Other side, come on. Heavy is what we're going for right here. You wanna be sore tomorrow, that is the goal. If you're not sore tomorrow, come back and do this workout again and get some heavier dumbbells. If you're like, I don't have heavy dumbbells, then you put one dumbbell in each hand right now and you give me a double arm chest press. A double arm chest press with what you have. Use what you have, do the best you can. Two more, come on. And two, you're out. Nice work. You have those standing chest flies. Standing chest flies, okay? Now if I had light, heavy dumbbell, light dumbbells, I would make this harder by doing a double arm chest fly to the middle. A double arm chest fly to the middle but I'm going 15 and singling it out for 12. You're on in three, two, let's go. You do the best with what you have, okay? Another option, you know those like mini loop resistance bands? You can always add that to a light dumbbell. Ooh, it's gonna intensify it. One rep at a time. Oh, these three chest moves fatigues you right away. And think about it, you're getting a full chest workout here without doing any stinking push-ups. Lucky you, lucky you. Oh, one more each way, let's go finish it. One and two. Quick shake out, quick shake out. Final set, repeat it, repeat it. 10 reps, 10 reps per move and you close out this circuit and then I have two ab exercises for you, okay? Two ab exercises for you. Take it down to the ground, dumbbells in my left hand, right leg is long, 10 reps in three, two, let's go. Heavy repetition, heavy repetition. That's why we call this circuit training, okay? Repetition breaks down the muscle on repeat. You do that same exercise to fatigue. That is how you build muscle mass, yes? Let's go. Come on. Two more reps to hit 10. You got this. One and two. Other side. Right into it, switch out that dumbbell. Other side. Palm faces out, lift the glute if you can. Here we go, 10. Yes, you can. Keep that weight right in line with the nipple. Shoot it straight up, lock it out. Glide it down, gentle tap. Gentle hover over that mat. Keep constant tension on the chest. Constant tension on the chest. You got light dumbbells. I hope you're going double arm. Let's go, two more, two more, come on. Ha, last one, last one. Up for 10. 
Nice. Heavy dumbbells down. Alternating chest fly to close off chest. Right here. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. Let's go. Palms are out. Shoulders are down and back. Soft bend in the knee, tight core. Three, two, let's go, 10 of them. That's five per arm. That's five per arm. Yes, you can. You better grab me some heavy weights. You only got five per arm. Let's go, exhale, get it up. Arms and abs, baby, right here. We love to work them. Yes, we do. Ah, two more, it's starting to get heavy. I hope you're with me, last one. Nice, right into abs. Set these weights off to the side. Ab moves. What do we got? Whew. Oh, hand release push-ups. Oh, you get push-ups, you get push-ups. Yes, you do, hand release push-up. All the way down to the ground, release. Push back up for 30 seconds. You're on. In three, two, let's go all the way down, chest to the ground, release. Push back up, can you push back up in a straight line? That's the goal, I'm still working on this. If I can't, I go to my knees, then up to my toes. All the way down, release to my knees, then up to my toes. That's a really good option, you guys. I'm gonna take that option because I'm still working on trying to come up as one unit. My core isn't quite there yet after having these babies, but that's the goal. It's a progress, it's a work in progress. You do your best, you forget the rest. 30 seconds, let's go, come on. Down, release, push, oh it burns, come on. Last one, down, release, push, back. <laughs> okay, last move, right here. Uh, we'll go, no weights, no weights. Two knee drives, one burpee, looks like this. Cross, cross, help, oh, we're gonna get some cardio. 30 seconds starts, in three, two, let's go. Cross, cross, oh, we're gonna get some cardio today, yep, Woo. cross, cross. Shoulders are on fire, and so is my chest. Woo, come on, cross, cross, up. Let me take out the jump, cross, cross, step in, stand up. Step back, let's go, cross, cross. Last five, four, three, two, one. Won't be a workout without some burpees. Hand release push-ups, hand release push-ups one more time through. Set it up, you're on. In three, two, let's go. Chest is to the ground, release the hands, push up, find the toes. Or go as one unit up to the top. Hand release push-ups. 30 seconds. My chest is so on fire right now, you guys. Yours should be too. You gotta grab those heavy dumbbells. Pushing up to the knees is so hard right now for me. Oh man, this is my holy bananas right here. My chest has never been my strongest point. Final five, four, three, two. Let's go. Cross, cross, burpee right into it. 30 seconds, close it out, cross, cross. Burpee, this is abs. Get a little cardio in there. Whew. Yep, let's do it, 30 seconds. Come on. Whew. You got this, let's go. Cross, cross, up. Whew. Come on, stay with me. Whew. Whew. 10 seconds. Yes, 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 finish. Whew. Whew. Last five, four, three, two, one. Whew. Holy bananas, that's a chest circuit for you. Whew. Those push-ups, that's where like, you look back and you're like, watch the video of myself and I'm like, I really look that bad, I was struggling. But that's it, it's a work in progress. And that's the goal, it means I use the right weights. Whew. Whew. Okay, grab some water. Grab that last sip and we are moving into shoulders, you guys, shoulders. Okay, shoulders only has two moves because you've been using your shoulders for the chest exercises, the back exercises, and any type of plank we've been in today, push-ups, all that stuff. So you've already been using your shoulders and we're gonna build shoulders into our ab exercises. I'm gonna go with 12 pounds, my shoulders are feeling the fatigue. It's an Arnold press, okay? Alternating Arnold press for the heavy weights, double Arnold press for the light weights. Palms face in to start, you have 14 reps. I'm going alternating in three, two, let's go. So I go right, left, that's two reps. One rep per arm, palm goes toward my face and then I push it out towards you, okay? So the palm starts in and then it rotates out. That helps work all heads of the shoulders. Now if you don't have heavy weights, you're not feeling that, you give me the double arm press, okay? You give me the double arm press, you have the option. Single or double, you're doing 14 reps, then 12 reps, then 10 reps. Oh, I'm gonna try and finish right here. Give me four, oh it burns. Three, I feel it, oh, two, last one, last one, one, okay, Whew. roll it out, 
alternating lat fly. So we're going to the side, alternating. Again, heavy weights, alternate the side. If you have light weights, give me the double arm fly. I'm going alternating to the right. 14 reps in three, two, let's go. This is where we're going unilateral again, that alternating pendulum side to side. That forces my core to turn on. Remember what I said, that big audible exhale. Anytime I exhale, that's a chance to work my abs. All those small stabilizing muscles, they are working in my shoulders and in my core right now. Light weights, you're giving me the double arm, right? Because you feel the burn, you got four reps left, let's go. Last four, stay with it. Three, come on, finish strong. Two, and one, set those weights down. Give me a quick shake, okay? You got light weights, double arm. Heavy weights, alternate the arm. Whew. Shoulders, you ready? 12 of them, Arnold press. I'll go double and single it out when I start to fail. You're on in three, two, let's go. Big exhale. Squeeze the butt, squeeze the core, lock out the elbows. Palms in, palms out. Trying to relax the shoulders. Okay, this is where I say whenever I do shoulders, you're gonna get my ugly face. I'm just gonna close my eyes, give you my ugly face because it burns. I'm hitting failure, oh yeah. Ah, shoulders on fire. I gotta alternate. Oh, finish it out, come on. One more each way, let's go, finish. Finish, finish. Last one, last one. Ah! Oh, okay, that flies, that flies, 12 of them. I'm alternating. You're on in three, two, let's go. Palm faces towards the ground, right up to shoulder height. You don't have to go any higher. Keep that core tight, okay? Straight up to the side. Hitting a different head of the shoulder. This gets a lot of those small stabilizing muscles. Actually, first time we're doing these in an NML workout. I used to do so many of these when I taught bar class that I stopped building them into workouts. Two more, let's go, one more each way. Ah, but now they're back, baby. Yeah, they are. Okay, shake it out. One more set, you guys. One more set on the shoulders. 10 reps, 10 reps. You can do anything for 10 reps. Mostly talking to myself here. Okay, I'm gonna see if I can make it through the double arm. Double arm, 10 reps. We're on, Arnold press in three, two, let's go, 10 reps, come on, one. Yes, you can. Two, one rep at a time. Think, strong and stronger. Oh my goodness, okay. I gotta alternate, oh, I'm gonna die. That means I'm using the right weights, right? Oh, fatiguing, fatiguing, it's that back-to-back -back repetition that makes this so stinking hard. One more each way, one and Done, ah, ha, ah. okay. Lat flies for the finish, lat flies for the finish. 10 of them, let's go finish. You're on in three, two, let's go. I want you to find your failure. I want you to fail in this workout. That means you're using the right weights, it means you're gonna be sore tomorrow, and it means you're building muscle. That is what we are here to do, you guys. Build muscle, and then we're gonna refuel with some lean protein in the form of pork, yes! Come on, one more each way, let's go finish. One, and, Done, Whew. shake it out. Okay, you ready for some fun core moves? Okay, I'm going 15 pound heavy weight. It's a chop and a shoulder press. Take the dumbbell in my right hand. Left hand goes on for the chop, off for the push. 30 seconds, this shoulder is gonna feel it. 30 seconds, rack it. Left hand on for the chop in three, two, let's go. Chop to the side, up, push, okay? Core and shoulders. Like I said, we're building core and shoulders together for the ab exercises. 30 seconds per move. Yes, let's do it. Do it twice, one time per side on this one. Up, come on, let's go. We're gonna do a sit up with a shoulder press. That's what's coming next. 10 seconds here. Finish. Ah, let's go. Push, come on. Five, four, three, two. I gotta go lighter weight. Sit up with a shoulder press down to the ground right here. Give me a sit up. Press and pass. Sit up, press and pass. Oh, my shoulders, holy bananas. Do they feel this? Option, you can go here, twist. If you don't wanna do the full sit up, okay? Side to side twist. I can hardly get this dumbbell overhead because my shoulders are so sinking fatigued. You got the final five, four, three, two, one. Oh. <laughs> okay, chop the other side. Take the dumbbell in my left hand. Right hand comes on top for the chop and the shoulder press. 30 seconds, you're on. In three, two, let's go. Give me the chop and the push. Chop, push. 
core, shoulders, core stabilizer, chop, push 15 pounds, whoo, yep, it's heavy, you guys, we're going heavy today, arms and abs, come on, one more time through on this ab circuit, and then you close it out, and we're on to biceps, all you got left, biceps and triceps, Ugh. let's go, finish, final five, four, three, two, one, take it down, shake it out, oh, Oh, yep, woo, woo, biceps, okay? Biceps, I'm gonna go with my 15 pounds. You're going, single arm hammer curl. Ooh, I'd maybe go for the 20. Maybe try and go heavy, we'll start on the 15. Take this dumbbell in my right hand. Single arm hammer curl, 14 reps, palm faces in. Right here, it's just up and down. That's one, woo, two, let's go. Woo. Single arm, the reason we're using a single arm focus, again, Feel my core stabilize. I like to put my hand on my abs. Feel them working, but also I can go heavier. I can go heavy here. Keep that shoulder relaxed, elbow off the body. Control, control the curl. Yep, come on, you got four more, let's go. Four, stay with it. Three, yes you can. Two, last one, last one. One, right into that other arm. Single arm, hammer curl, other side. Let's go, 14. Big exhale. Okay, you got three moves on the biceps. Single arm curl, right, single arm curl left. We go alternating curls. Oh yeah, baby. Oh yeah, love this rep drop format, come on. Really honing in here, abs and arms. Yep, let's go, you only have one ab exercise after biceps, only one ab exercise. Let's go, four more, you got four. Come on, stay with me. Three, you're gonna pick up that other dumbbell in two, and this is where it's gonna get really hard. Really hard, okay, you got 14 reps, it's gonna go fast, you just alternate your curls in motion. You're on in three, two, let's go. So it's one, two, three, four, it goes fast, let's go. Ha, stabilize that core, finish. Four, three, two, done. Whew, shake it out. That last move is the power move to burn it out, okay? Hammer curls, single arm. Hammer curl, single arm on the right. 12 reps, brace your core. Right here, hammer curl in three, two, let's go. That's one. Two, nice work. Three, four, let's go. Five, you only got 12 of them, you drop two reps. Drop the reps, it still feels heavy, right? Yes, you can. Come on, yes. Oh, this weight should feel heavy. It should feel heavy because you only have two left. Let's go, finish. One and two, other arm. Oh, do you feel those biceps? Other arm, right into it, you're on in three, two, let's go. If this is not feeling heavy for you, you have light weights, you are doing a double arm hammer curl times two. You're just repeating it. The double arm hammer curl instead of the single. You got heavy weights, you do the single arm. You isolate, whew, isolate to build, isolate to build. Yep, go heavy my friends, come on. Yes you can, give me two more reps and then we go to the switch curl. Last one, switch curl, pick up the other dumbbell. It goes fast, 14 reps, let's start with the right arm up. You're on in three, two, let's go. One, two, three, keep that core tight. Stuff it in the knees, keep breathing. Ho, oh, it burns, let's go, two more. One, two, drop them, Whew. shake it out. One more set of biceps. Whew. Mostly talking to myself, because I am fatigued, you guys. These arms are feeling tired, and that's the goal, okay? 10 reps, 10 reps, right arm. You're on in three, two, let's go, 10 reps. Come on, two, stay with it. Three, you got it. Four, come on, five, almost there. Six, oh, seven, finish it. These biceps are done. Come on, two more, one, and two, switch arms. It should be a struggle to get that last one up. Let's go, right into it, 10 on the other side. Yes, grab heavy dumbbells, make it hard on yourself, okay? Challenge yourself, you gotta challenge yourself. That's why you put play, that's why you press play today, right? Come on, you're here to work with me. Let's do it. You got one more, one more. Okay, grab that other dumbbell. 10, switch curls, left arm up. You're on in three, two, let's go. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Ho, oh, one dumbbell, seated twist. You're gonna keep those biceps engaged. Feet can be on the ground. Sit back, hold the arms, bend at 90 degrees. You're gonna twist and twist. You wanna make it harder? Lift one leg up, even harder, both legs up. Twist, twist, 
twist. One 30 second ab exercise right here. That's it, one. Then we go to triceps. <sighs> triceps, two ab exercises and you're done. Let's go, right here. One move, one move. You're doing it for 45 seconds instead of 30. <sighs> I'm just making this work up, work out up as we go. That's kind of fun, right? I'm gonna make it up as we go. Change things up on you. Make you work, make you move. That's the goal, just stay with me. Give me 10, nine, eight, seven, six, you got it. Five, four, three, two, one. <sighs> triceps, grab some water. Triceps, it's your final set, you guys. Triceps, triceps and two ab exercises. Triceps, Woo. All right, finish it, circuit five. Alternating kickbacks. I'm gonna grab my 12 pounds for these so I can show you good form. Okay, again, shoulders down and back, hinge forward, elbows stay high. I kick from the hip. I'm gonna alternate, each arm counts as one. You got light weights, you give me a double arm kickback, okay? Light weights, double, heavy, alternating. 14 reps in three, two, let's go. One, two, three, don't swing them. Control it. Keep the shoulders out of the ears. Keep a nice long neck for me. Really important. Relax the shoulders. Put the work into the triceps. Big extend, tiny bend. Right to the hips, straight back. Two more, finish. One and two. We go down to the ground for skull crushers. I grab my 15s because I'm going heavy. Two moves, two moves in triceps. That's it, skull crushers right here. Here we go, you're on in three, two, 14 reps. Bend the weights up. So I'm just bending at the elbow, weights drop down towards the side of my head, towards my temples, straight back up. Bend, extend. Big exhale on the extend. I'm really focusing on keeping that low back connected to the mat, keeping my abs drawn in, keeping my ribs drawn in. Okay, these heavy weights. Whew. Yep, they're gonna challenge me. My triceps are always sore when I do this. Always sore. Every time I do skull crushers, you got four more. Finish with me. Finish. That's four. Three, yes you can. Two, last one, last one. Oh baby, yep, there it is. Okay, we're back up. Alternating kickbacks times 12. Alternating kickbacks times 12. Each rep counts as one. Shoulders out of the ears, elbows high to the sky. 12 reps, you're on in three, two, let's go. One, two, yes you can. Keep breathing, finish it. Triceps, you're in the last set. Oh, they should be on fire. Yes, that's the goal. Finish off the arms and abs right here. Yes, you can. Let's go. Oh, one more, that's it, right? Yeah, oh, okay. Here we go. Take it down to the ground. 12 skull crushers, you guys. 12 skull crushers. We are flying through this tricep circuit. We are flying on your back. Low back is connected to the mat. 12 reps in three, two, let's go. Bend, extend, and push. All the way down, all the way up. All the way down, all the way up. We are isolating each muscle group. You guys, each muscle group gets two to three exercises on repeat. This is working to failure right here. Oh, do you see it? Do you see my elbows wanting to go out? Keep them in. Keep those elbows in, they wanna go out. Oh, the weights, they're getting heavy. It's getting really hard to get to the top. That's a good thing, three more. Yes, you can. Oh, two more. Stay with me. Oh, one more. Look at that shake. Do you see that shake? <laughs> you should be striving for it, you guys. Strive for the shake. Whew. Holy bananas, holy bananas, we're finding it. Okay, last set, 10 reps. You can do anything for 10 reps. Bend it over, alternating kickbacks. Alternating kickbacks. You're there in three, two, let's go. One, two. Three, come on, it's only 10. Yes, you can, halfway, finish. Five, four, three, two, one. For the fear of dropping a 15 pound on my face, I'm gonna stay with the 12s for these last 10, okay? I had to drop, that's good, that means I found my failure point. Here we go, 10 skull crushers and you're out. Down, up, you got one. Let's go finish. Two, then we're on to abs. Three, yes you can, two moves, 30 seconds each on repeat. That is two minutes of work and you're done. Oh, yep, I'm glad I have these 12 pounds because 12 pounds has never felt so stinking heavy, you guys, come on. Let's go, two more, stay with me. Oh, last one. <laughs> ah, 
I can laugh at myself because it means that I did what I wanted to do. That was the goal of this workout, okay, you guys? That was to fail, and we found it, and we did it. All right, here we go. This is your ab move, 30 seconds, two moves, one minute, repeat it. Reverse plank, walk out to toe touch. So fine, legs are bent at 90 degrees, come up here, you're gonna go toe tap, toe tap, walk out, walk in. 30 seconds starts in three, two, let's go. Give me the toe tap, the toe tap, walk out, walk in. Keep the hips lifted, nice and high. The triceps are still engaged, yes, do you feel them? My fingertips should face my butt. They're not facing back, they're not facing out. Fingertips face my butt, hips stay lifted high. Out, out, in, in, touch, touch. Out, out, in, in, touch, touch. One more, out, out, in, in, touch, touch. Find a hollow rock for me, hollow rock. Arms go overhead. Option A, just lift up here and hold. Option B, can you lift up one leg? Flex the foot. Option C, can you lift up both legs? Oh, do you feel it? Okay, alternate the knee pull, point the toes. There you go. You can always keep one leg on the ground. Trying to keep my abs in nice and tight. I gotta bring those legs up. Bring those legs up. If I lower them, it's harder. I'm bringing them up because that's where I need to be right now. Let's go. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Last set, reverse plank walk out and those pulls and you are out of here, you guys. Find that reverse plank. Get yourself up, two toe touches, walk out to plank in three, two, let's go. Toe, toe, out, out, in, in. Remember, my hips stay high, my fingertips face my butt. My triceps are still on fire. They're still shaking. Yes, let's go. Out, out, in, in. You're doing it. Nice work. Out, out, in, in. 10 seconds. Finish it. Right here. Arms and abs. Final five, four, three, two, one. Take it all the way down. Find that hollow rock. Arms go overhead. Biceps by the ears, roll neck and shoulders up off the mat. Option A, hold here. Option B, lift one leg up. Option C, lift both legs up. Option D, give me the pulls. Here we go. This is it, you guys. Yes, you can. 30 seconds, finish the abs. You can always keep the neck and shoulders on the mat or lift them up. Ah, let's go. Come on, 10, nine, yes you can, eight, Finish it, seven, let's go. Six and five and four, three, two, one. Oh, pull the knees in, roll it over, find the fetal position and stay. I'm just kidding. Nice work, you guys. Way to go heavy. We are gonna stretch this out, coming into a tabletop position. Give me tabletop right here. Shoulders stacked over wrist, hips over knees. You're gonna drop the belly, lift the chin. Reverse it, pull the spine up towards the ceiling, tuck the chin towards the chest. Okay, so I thought this was gonna be 30 minutes, turns into a 40 minute, we'll retitle it. It is a 40 minute, 40 minute, upper body, arms and abs, rep drop workout. Nice work, pull the belly up, one more, nice work. From here, you're gonna sit back to that puppy dog stretch, hips stay high, arms walk out, thumbs go up. Oh, that lateral flexion, this should feel so good. I know we did this at the beginning of the workout, but this, Right here, if you felt in those overhead movements, any impingement, any trouble with range of motion, this is your stretch, you guys. You come back to this. You need to open up the lats, open up the back till you get better range of motion overhead. Nice. From here, you're gonna walk it back in. Push up and back. Down dog and give me a reach back. Opposite hand goes opposite. Shin, look under the armpit. Nice, other side, reach back. Nice. Way to go, I am so proud of you. That is tough stuff. From here, you're gonna lower all the way down to the belly. Hands are right by the chest, cobra, push up. Open up the abs, drop the shoulders down towards your butt, pull your lats towards your butt. Don't need to overextend, just gently twist side to side. Oh, that feels so good, yes? Up and back, down dog, one more time. Walk the hands back to meet the feet. Roll all the way up. Give me a couple arm, big arm sweeps back. Big arm sweeps forward, flap those wings, that is arms and abs rep drop 
That was such a good strength workout. I hope you grab some heavy weights. I hope you come back and join me for this workout again. Thank you so much to Minnesota Pork for sponsoring this workout. You can refuel with some lean cuts of pork. Get in that protein, selenium, choline, so important for expecting moms. We have so many good things, selenium for the thyroid, B vitamins for your mood, all that good stuff. Learn more about the benefits of pork below this post. Check out pork recipes at mnpork.org and get more workouts at nourishmovelove.com. Thanks, you guys.